This week, we are starting with a homework program. You are probably viewing this video because you received from me a special assignment that I asked you to hand me back within one week. I will not be grading this assignment. There are far too many students in this course for me to be able to do this. Your peer students will be grading you. And so it's a legitimate question to be asking yourself, if the teacher is not grading me, but my peer students are grading me, then how do I make sure um, that I get maximum points for my answer? And the answer for, to this is that to get a good grade for your homework program, you have to treat your readers like they are your colleagues. At work, your colleagues, you're not trying to impress them with how incredibly good you are. You're trying to be efficient with their time and be respectful and thankful for the time they spend checking your work and helping you um, progress through your work. The same thing applies with your peer students in this assignment. Let me show you what not to do and then what to do um, for this kind of assignment so you get good grades. Your colleagues, they're looking for three things because that's the way you're going to be graded. The first thing they're looking for is the general answer to the equation, yeah, to the question. So one equation that has no number in it, only the symbols that are put in the assignment. This is the first thing you're looking for. Second thing they're looking for is the correct numbers inserted in this equation. Yeah? And the third thing they want to see is a sensible final result with the correct unit. They're looking for this because these are the three rubrics in which you will fill in how many points you earn for your answer. And so to maximize your points, give them exactly that. Give them a very easy way to quickly find where the general answer to the question is. Yes. Where you put the numbers into it and where your final result is and what the correct unit for that answer is. Let me show you examples of what not to do. This is very messy. This is hard to read. Um, this is very dirty. Uh, there are things crossed over. You're not too sure if it's a plus, minus, if it's not anything at all, if it's just a zero before the first number. There's a finger left over. This says overall to the reader, I don't really care about your work. Um, uh, you're just going to grade me very quickly and I'm not careful with your time. This is somebody who was more careful, obviously much better with the scanning and the presentation, but has a lot of trouble with organizing their equations so that you're not too sure exactly what they're equating here and they're not very good with symbols. So you are left, if you're looking for a problem in here, you're left wondering whether this is a plus or a minus. If something is wrong and you're trying to find where the error came from, then where do you go from symbol to symbol? And where does this change? What is this equal to? So this is a bit messy and try not to do that. This is somebody who wrote very well, but then has a lot of difficulties with the spatial organization of their paper. And so there are things everywhere. Uh, it goes from right to left, top to bottom. You have to follow the arrows. It's a huge patchwork of things that makes it, even though it may be correct, makes it very difficult to debug when, once there is a problem. This is somebody who forgot to turn the light on. Um, and even though they wrote very well and have a very nice equation layout, um, they forgot to turn the light on as they were scanning the document and you get a very dark, um, a very blurry picture to look at. This is the perfect answer. This is somebody who spent hours and hours and hours working on something very, very nice on the tablet, digitized everything, colored everything, and it's beautiful and it's nice and it's easy to grade. And you don't need to do that. Um, this is great. If you do this, perfect, good for you. Um, but you don't have to invest that kind of time to get good grades. Let me show you the paper of somebody who makes your life easy as a peer grader and as a colleague. It looks like this. It's not perfect, but it's easy to debug. And in this page, immediately, you find out what the symbols are here, what the numbers are, most importantly, what the general answer to the problem is and what the numbers at the end are, yeah? So if you zoom into here, you quickly have, very quickly have identified whether the general answer is correct or not because you can compare it with the final answer. You quickly see which numbers have been put in there and you quickly see here, what the final result and with which unit it is written here. That kind of paper like so is very easy to grade. Even if this is wrong, this will facilitate the work of the peers uh, because it will make it easy for them. 
to find the three things they're looking for, which are the general answer to the question, the correct numbers insert in this equation, and then a sensible final result with the correct unit. Three things that you want to give your peers so they can give you points, stop, and go back to what they were doing otherwise and spend their time on something else. So here it is. Good luck, and I'll see you soon.